Okay, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at designing the review form for the reviewers. So first of all, we'll navigate to the review form from the nav bar on the left hand side. And so from here, you're going to see your review form. So every event will have a default review form. And you can, of course, edit those questions and add new questions if you need to. It's also important to note that if you have the multi-stage feature, you'll be able to click through your different stages and you can have different review forms for each stage. So next, let's have a look at some of the settings at the top. So a couple of things we can do here is we can preview the review form and this will show you the review form with some dummy submission and dummy review data. Even better, we can actually view the review form as a particular reviewer. So if I click into this, it's going to show me my list of existing reviewers. And if I am to select one of those, from here, I get to see exactly what that reviewer sees when they log in to the Oxford Abstract system. So in this example, we can see this reviewer has been assigned four different submissions. Two of them they have completed the reviews for, and two of them they are still yet to review. So when they, when they click into a submission, they'll get to see the submission on the right hand side and then the review form on the left. And you can actually even go ahead and do the reviews for the reviewer if you need to. The reviewer will also be shown a grade summary. So here they can see each grade that they've given to each submission. This is really handy if there are multiple grade questions for yeah, in the review form. Okay, so let's go back to our review form builder. So we've seen that we can preview the form and we can also view the form as a particular reviewer. Another thing we can do is add a welcome message to the review form to give them more context. And this can include links and images and tables and so on. The next thing we can do here is we can also choose which of the submission form questions are visible to the reviewer. So if I click on this, I can see all of my review, my submission form questions, and I can toggle them on and off to, to decide or to dictate whether these are shown to the reviewer. Next up, we've also got an option to either show or hide the submitter information. Typically, this would be hidden, but if you do need to make it shown, this is how we can do it. So next, let's have a look at some of the default questions that you'll get with your reviewing form. So you'll have a question called conflict of interest. This is just a checkbox question that people can indicate if they do have a conflict of interest. If they mark the conflict of interest, this will mean that the review is complete, no matter what other mandatory questions there are. Next, we can have a grade question. So this is typically a drop down, and then we can display different values against the different, uh, sorry, different words against the different numerical values. And we can also have a, uh, typically we have a presentation method question, and then also a question for comments. And with these, we can, you know, change some of the settings, such as what the word limit is and things like this. And of course, we can add questions to the review form. So if we click on the add question button, we can add drop downs, grade drop downs. So these are different because they we actually calculate the average grades um, for the reviews. We can also have multiple checkboxes, radio buttons, single checkboxes, text block, text input, and even a file upload. So this can be very useful for when uh, submitters have uploaded a file and perhaps the reviewer needs to download the file, add some information to it, and then re-upload it. So this is an option here. Another thing we can do is delete questions. 
So all we have to do is click into the question and then hit delete question. And as you can see from this, that we can also restore these questions if we delete them by accident. So we can either restore it in the view we've just seen, or we can go into view the deleted questions. So here I can see my previously deleted questions, and we can see when they were created, and then we can restore them back. OK. So this summarizes the different review form settings that we can have, and especially designing the review form. Thank you for watching.